By this time, we all know that a CBI probe is ordered into the triple train disaster in Odisha on 2nd of June. The Railway Minister Mr. Vashini Vaishnav yesterday evening ordered the CBI probe. But before that, in the morning, he dropped enough hint that something big was going to happen. Standing at the site, interacting with the media, he dropped a comment and I quote that the, that the root cause of the accident and the people involved both are identified. Now what does it mean? What does it mean? It was very strategically chosen words by the railway minister. What exactly he tried to indicate into? What try, let us try to understand what uh, might have tempted the Indian railways to bring in CBI into the picture. What does CBI do? CBI investigates crimes and conspiracies. Then what is this? Is there any criminal angle involved into this accident? What went wrong at Bahanaga Bazar station on 2nd of June? A goods train that was coming from Balasore was heading towards Vadra. The goods train was made stationary at Bahanaga Bazar station for a cause. And what was the cause? The cause was to make a free passage for the incoming Koromundal Express bound to Chennai. But that did not happen. The, Chenna, the Koromundal Express, it was given a green signal to pass through. But the Koromundal Express at point number 17A, the facing point number 17A got diverted and then entered into the up loop line where the goods train was stationary and then finally smashed into it, causing this terrific accident. Now the experts say this is very unlikely in modern days Indian railway signaling system. Then why do they say so? Let's try to understand. The Bahanaga Bazar station signaling system is based on a signaling system which is called in railways parlance is the electronic interlocking system. What is this electronic interlocking system? It is a system which is absolutely based on computer logic, software logic and algorithm. And the logic says, and the logic says, if a point is set in a reverse direction, then the signals behind the point has to be turned either yellow or red. But that did not happen. Basically what happened was that Coromundal Express was given green signals and the distance signal was green and the home signal was green but while passing the Bahanaga Bajar station everything went wrong. Now the experts here say this is only possible, only possible if there is any human in intervention into the system. Now let's try to understand why they say so, how it works. Now this electronic interlocking system is such a system where there is a panel room in a station where there is a panel board and one video display unit. And the panel board is operated by either the station manager or the assistant station manager. Now what do they do with the panel board, the station manager or the assistant station manager? They just give commands. They just give commands for a seamless train operations. Now before going forward, let me tell you one thing that this particular signaling system which is called the electronic interlocking system in Indian Railways is absolutely reliable, robust, time tested and fail safe a system. Now there is another room. There is another room in the station building which is called the relay room where the hardware of the system and the associated machineries of the system those are kept and this particular room which is called the relay room inside a station building is always kept under lock and key. It's like a bank locker. If you open a bank locker then you need two keys one of yours and one from the bank manager then only you will be able to open the bank locker similarly this relay room if 
there is a need to open the uh, this relay room now let me tell you when it is required if there is a problem with the signaling system if there is any need for a correction or any rectification with the signaling system then it is required to be opened then there is a set protocol there is a set protocol it needs certain approval and multiple keys possessed with the different departments of the railways so it's not very easy to open the this this particular relay room when the uh, this relay room is kept open it is usually happened when there is any sort of signaling work is going on in a particular station premises now already the departmental inquiry initiated by the southeastern railway revealed that there was no such signaling work was going on at bahanaga bazar station on 2nd of june then what happened what went wrong what happened probably with this relay room probably that is the reason why cbi is brought into the picture now cbi has to reveal cbi has to dig out the truth what exactly happened on 2nd of june at bahanaga bazar station with the this particular relay room